Yo, what's good? It's your boy TJ. Welcome back to the channel. I hope all is well with you guys. Holy mother of God, the last upload that we did absolutely banged in views and likes. 140 plus likes. Make sure to go like this video. Subscribe to the content as well if you are new around here and you want to see daily uploads on the Forex. You know, I trade all the time. We post stuff in free groups. Message me on Instagram. Like, you could be getting on these trades right here. Literally, I'm going to show you, DJ. We got two entries, one here, one here. Sent two free trades, of course. You know, sometimes I like to bless up the free trades. I understand not everyone can afford a VIP membership. So there is my goodwill. But your boy TJ is bringing you another video on a strategy on how to actually make money with a small account. And the reason why I bring this video is if you check out my channel, I am the flip army. You know, I flip shit daily. I can flip a 500 pound account. 30k i can flip a 10 pound account to 500 quid you know within a few days and that's just you know my speciality of getting sniper entries because they are key so i'm going to go through a bunch of stuff today on the video about the risk management how to look for these sniper entries and where to actually know when to enter the market so without further ado ladies and gentlemen boys and girls let's get into the video a few moments later when starting off trading forex you need to know a few things before getting actually started now the key things in forex is definitely entry positions you know knowing when to be in the market is so important because a lot of beginners they will just keep adding extra positions you know maybe closing their positions for small profits getting back into the trade and the fact of the matter is if you actually just hold that one trade with a decent lot size or if you just hold that one trade and just let it run through for example this trade right here it's really small lot sizes yet the profits are insane and that's because i'm just holding my trade sl at entry for the risk free part of the trade and that is why Sniper entries are important because you get zero drawdown, so you're not, you know, going into your account. You're also holding the trade at the bottom or the top, as an example, and then you're going to make a lot of money from that. And it's all about the market direction, knowing when the market's going to do its pullback and then take advantage of this. For example, the Great British Pound JPY trade right here that we've actually sent in VIP, we know that it's dropped an awful ton, you know, it was at the 153 range, now it's come down literally to 150, over 300 pip drop. Now we've seen it come down to the support, we wanna get our buys in. And if this trade does come in, then that's fine, you know, we lose a few percent, one percent, that's okay. But if we catch this trade from 150 all the way to 135 plus, that's over 300 pips captured. Now this is called swing trading because obviously it's not gonna happen in one day. You know, you will be holding this pair for a, a long period of time. However, there's no point entering a trade because it's risky anyway to just even enter a trade. You know, if you can't be in a trade, then you can't lose. You know, if you're not in it, you can't lose. The same sort of thing applies on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, don't just enter a trade for the sake of it. And this is where a lot of beginners go wrong. As I said, they were open, close, open, close, open, close. And yes, they might be taking a small profit. If you can hold a trade like this and not let it play with your emotion side of things, then you are literally gonna be making 300 plus pips potentially from one position. Now you can see I sent three. Yes, you might be risking 3%. But the potential outcome of this trade is so insane that it's worth holding. And this is just one of the mistakes, you know, beginners make in Forex trading. They don't actually know how to read market direction. They don't really understand the way the market moves. And they're just looking at a graph, seeing it range, and they'll just enter sales and buys, you know, and, and like scalp that market as such. But the, the reason why scalpers do so well, and we're talking about scalpers who scalp the market for a living, not just a beginner looking at a chart buying and selling. The reason why Scalp does so well is because they get the market direction and they will keep scaling their entries in. For example, Pound CHF, look at the sales. It hit top of the resistance. Then what did it do? It dropped, pulled up a little bit, dropped, pulled up a little bit into the channel, dropped again. And that is how you would scalp your entries in, not just, you know, randomly entering trades for the sake of it or being in a ranging market. You know, these are calculated takes on the market and this is what a lot of beginners don't understand a lot of thought process goes in to a trade it's not just sending a trade entering a trade for no reason there is a full process behind it the way to hold your psychology on trades 
you know, you're looking at the lower highs of a potential sell that you've got. You're looking at where it could actually show some resistance or support on the trade for it to collect orders. And this is where a lot of other individuals go wrong in trading. Even if you don't actually know how to trade, start just believing in yourself about trading, you know. Start looking at a trade, looking at the wick rejections from the higher highs to the lower highs. Just start looking at the wick rejections, you know, the bodies of the candlesticks and start seeing if you can see a type of resistance slash support that you can actually get your entries in. Like I said, GJ has come up, come back down. It's at 150.550 right now. I'm looking for GJ to show support here to then go up to the top of the resistance at the 152 level. Now this is such an important trade for me because I've got the entries prior to this. It's gone up, pulled back a little bit and then we go again and I've got the entries on the second position. Now we're looking for it to fly and this is where you get the profits because you know the market direction. You know what way the market's gonna go. Even though the move hasn't even happened yet, I'm telling myself, I know where the support is. I know where the trade will stay. It's not gonna drop, it's not gonna collapse, it's not gonna break structure. And with my mindset, I'm telling myself, yes, Tommy, this trade is gonna go up, okay? It's at 155.70 right now. It might not go up, but I am saying I know the market direction and it is self-development, self-belief, you know, with the fact of entering trades and getting worse entry then closing them and losing your profits like beginners do. Just get that good entry, hold that position, and just let it play out. If it's running in like plus 30, 40 pips, move the SL to entry, risk free it. Just trust your ability of reading market directions. You know what I'm saying? Like you can use a demo account if you really want, but the strategy I use is the, for the market directions, wait for it to break, retest and get more positions and then hold that for a swing kind of trading way of where I can make four, 500 pips profit for all of my trades instead of making, you know, five, 10 pips here and there and closing. You know what I'm saying? Because that does not work. Now, risk management is key in Forex. I go on this all the time. Download the app, stay new. Check out any risk management app online. Just search risk management calculator. Make sure you start risk management. You will not become a successful trader if you do not risk manage. It is highly important. Really, really important for, you know, other individual beginners following maybe signal providers hitting out 50 to 70 to 100 pip SLs. If you are not gonna risk manage with those signal providers, then you are gonna lose a lot of money. Even if they say they're winning, like they, these sort of like bad signal providers will give you like a 70 to 100 pip SL tell you to enter three positions. Can you imagine losing 300 pips on one currency pair? That is devastating. It's hard enough making 300 pips on one pair, let alone losing it and then having to make that back for it. If you risk manage, you would only risk 1% with a 70 pip SL as an example. 1% of a 500 pound account is five pounds. Instead, if you use the same launch, you might risk 60 pounds instead of five pounds, you know, it all works in mysterious ways, but it is just mistakes that people make, you know, Un uneducated mistakes that individual traders make at the beginning because they do not know how to properly trade, which is why, you know, I live stream. Link in description if you want to check out my Discord free community channel, all traders in there showing markups, talking about the trades in the VIP, you know, discussing trades, potential setups. It is fire and it's free. Link in description, join that. Nearly over 500 people. And as I said, your boy TJ, you can hit me up on Instagram right here. I am not scared to, you know, help you out. I don't care. I live stream for free. I don't charge mentorship. I, I go live on twitch.tv, link in description, check it out. I stream every single day for free to help beginners learn my mindset and how I actually view a market because the market I is so important. It's been your boy TJ. I hope this all helped you. As I said, check all the links in the description. I've got everything popping right now. The community is insane. Much love on the videos and the support that you guys all show me. As I said, if you have not already, like the video, subscribe if you are new, and I'll catch you next time. Let's go, baby. Peace.